Hello, welcome to Baby Led Winning for Busy Moms. In today's video, I am going to explain to you some of the benefits of baby led weaning and how baby led weaning is different from traditional weaning. Have you ever wondered how to start baby led weaning? Are you interested because you are trying to transition your child from milk to solids? Are you confused by all of the advice out there and you are stressed out, anxious, nervous, don't know where to start from? If so, then this video is for you. I wanna be creating a whole series about baby led weaning to help you start your journey on the right foot. Before we begin, uh, let me talk a little bit about my qualifications. I am a mom of two toddlers who has gone through baby led weaning with both of them successfully and I've compiled all of the knowledge I built over the years to start a blog dedicated to parents and feeding their child nutritious meals. My blog is called Baby Led Winning for Busy Moms. So make sure you check it out for re resources like recipes, tips, tricks, and ideas on how to go through transition from milk to solids to toddler food. So let us begin the video. Uh, by talking a little bit about what baby led weaning is. Baby led weaning is a method of feeding a baby um, from the moment, not the moment, but from when they turn six months old and beyond. It is a, a method that requires you to feed a child foods in as natural a state as possible. That means you are not feeding them mushy pureed version of a food. Like you're going to give them cooked or steamed broccoli, just the way the broccoli looks, rather than giving them pureed broccoli in like fine, super smooth forms. So baby led winning, you give the child a, in a meal in as natural a state as possible, close to the natural state as possible. Anyway, so now that we talked about, we know what baby led winning is, Let's talk about some of the benefits of baby led weaning. Why is it so special? That word has been going around for a long time, this buzzword, baby led weaning. But why is it so special? Well, I'm here to tell you that baby led weaning has a ton of benefits. And uh, to make sure that I cover all of them, because my Todd gets away with me, I make sure that I keep my trusty sticky notes to like help me guide my thoughts. So, forgive me for having them it's better to be prepared than not anyway one of the benefits of baby led winning is that you don't need to buy fancy tools for this to work anyone can do baby led winning in fact i'm nigerian i grew up i was born and raised in nigeria and this is how every mother that i knew before i came here did baby led winning I've never seen anyone give their child puree. When I was born, when I was growing up back home, everybody, when their child started showing interest in food, would feed their child whatever it is they were eating. Like as the whole family gathers to eat, the mother gives some to the older kids and gives some to the baby. That's how everybody there learned to eat. In fact, I remember when my brother came to visit me when my first child was born, um, my husband didn't know the concept of baby led winning yet. And um, he was like, oh, we're going to mush up the food and give it to him when he's like six months old. And my brother looked at him and said, mush up the food? Don't you just give them the same thing that you're eating? And my husband was very confused by that idea. <laughs> because, you know, he was raised in the, in the world of purees. And my brother and I were raised in Nigeria, in the world of baby led winning. <laughs> So anyway, I had to explain to him, like, look, we're not doing puree. This is what I'm going to be doing. It's called baby led winning. And I went through a whole explanation of what it is. But now, three years later, he understands. Anyway, you don't need fancy tools to do baby led winning. All you need is the same thing that you're using to cook for your family. Because you are going to be giving that same meal to your children, to your baby. 
uh, you don't need a fancy baby food maker or blender or whatever it is because you're not blending anything unless the thing that the part of the recipe that you're making for the whole family calls for blending of course anyway another benefit that i love about baby led winning is that you are making one meal one meal for the whole family just think about that for a second if this is your first kid then you probably haven't experienced what it feels like to have to cook for a baby then you cook for the the adults and then if you have a picky eater toddler then you cook for the picky eater it is exhausting i've been there with baby led weaning you start your baby with the same meal that everybody else is eating they learn to eat and participate in the family meal so that they don't have when they grow up they're not expecting to eat something special something different so you're not going to end up cooking two different meals for the rest of your life because you have a picky eater now anyway you're just going to cook one meal and then they have choices they can decide to eat the, the the appetizer or they can eat the main course or hell they can eat the dessert if they want to but at least they're participating in the family meal they're eating the same thing that everyone else the same option that everyone else has that's one of the benefits of baby led winning which i love so much it has saved me a lot of time not having to cook separate meals for everyone anyway a lot of people claim that baby led weaning helps reduce the occurrence of picky eating. From my own personal experience, I'm going to be 100% transparent and honest with you. Both my boys were picky eaters. The first one was more picky than the second one because I think the first one was the being the first. You were giving whatever it is you want. You were spoiled, you know you're spoiled the second child by the second child you're like you're a tired mom you're exhausted you don't have time to like indulge whatever it is the baby wants you give them the meal and you say here's your meal you have a choice you can eat or you cannot eat if you don't eat that's fine you can wait to the next meal and that's just the way we do it here um anyway so that helps reduce picky eating in my second kid compared to my first kid. Um, there, is so, there are some studies that support the idea that baby led weaning reduces the occurrence of picky eating, but I, I find that this varies depending on family and other factors. So yes, in a way it does. Um, so if you're trying to avoid picky eating in the future with your child, I suggest you stick with baby led weaning. And so here is the fourth benefit of baby led winning. And this one is key. It helps promote confidence. Let's take a little time to think about that. Baby led winning helps promote confidence. And I'll explain why. Say you are a six month old baby. Two scenarios. Scenario A, a six month old baby is sitting at the table with the whole family there's a bowl of mush in front of them and a parent or an adult is spoon feeding that mush into their mouth by force you might not say by force you might not think it's by force but it is and i'll tell you why so they are being spoon fed this thing whether they want to eat it or not it doesn't matter they are spoon fed it until the plate is empty and then think of the second scenario, scenario B. A family is gathered around sitting at a table and baby who is six months old has the family meal in front of him or her. Let's say for example, there's a little bit of broccoli and carrot, some chicken, some, some lentils, whatever it is that they're eating in front of the baby. The baby looks at the food, looks at the parent, swipe a little bit away, looks at his hand, licks it, 
it makes a face hmm take some of the food eat it licks it practice chewing spit it out takes another part of the food put it in the mouth maybe practice chewing again spit it out takes one put it in chew 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 and then swallow which scenario do you think is promoting confidence in the child scenario a with a baby eating mush being spoon fed mush or scenario b with a baby giving the freedom and the choice to choose what they want to eat how they want to eat it and how much they want to eat it that's a big deal what they want to eat how they want to eat it and how much they want to eat it that's what baby led winning i'm getting my like goosebumps that's what baby led winning promotes it gives children the confidence the choice to choose what they want to eat they will say to themselves a six month old can make a choice if you give them the opportunity they can decide today i'm gonna try the broccoli i'm gonna lick it that's what they want to eat they chose the broccoli and then there's the how they want to eat it it's, they decide i'm gonna lick it i'm gonna smear it all over my face i'm gonna put it on the tray and move it around that's how they want to eat it everybody has a choice like the way one person eats it might be different from the way baby might eat it but they're at least given a choice to choose tomorrow they might decide they want to chew the broccoli and spit it out the next day they might decide they want to chew the broccoli and swallow it but they are given the confidence and the, the ability to choose which builds their confidence, not just in food, but in life. You're giving them a great start at life, giving them the freedom to say, this is what I want, this is how I want it. And this is what I'm gonna do when I'm giving it. That's what baby led winning promotes. And it's very important. I think that's the best skills, one of the best skills that I instilled in my children is giving them the courage to choose what, where, and how they want to do things knowing that everything has consequences but that's a story for another day <laughs> let's focus on baby led winning <laughs> it really integrates itself into every aspect of life doesn't it anyway the fourth actually the fifth benefit of baby led winning is that it promotes family bonds most of the time when people children are spoon fed purees and mush they are fed before the whole family because the parents are trying to or the adult is trying to avoid the mess so they will usually eat before the whole family eats and because of that the baby is not given the freedom to explore they're not connecting with the whole family like everybody else is but when you think about a baby led winning baby, a six months old sitting at a table with the whole family, they are eating something, the baby is eating, they're exploring, they're looking at the kid, they're joking and laughing with him or her. There is a camaraderie among not just the baby, but the baby and every, not between, sorry about my English. The camaraderie is between the baby and the whole family because they're all sitting at the table the baby is listening to what people are saying. He's using his sense of hearing. He's using the sense of taste and touch and feeling and everything else is involved in this family gathering, this family meal. And that's one of the great benefits of being led women. It promotes family bonds. They're gonna grow up appreciating dinner time. They're gonna grow up appreciating breakfast and lunch time because it's the time for gathering which is very important in a family. Um, I already said the sixth benefit is that it promotes, it helps build their senses, their five senses. Taste, you're tasting the food, you're touching and exploring the textures, they are smelling the, the scents, they are looking, at the food and seeing the different colors and um, the hearing is very important 
It's not the food that promotes the hearing, it's the conversation, the hearing at the table, the family table. That's what they're associating with food. Oh, food equals laughter, because everybody's laughing. Food equals smiling, everybody's smiling. Food equals chit-chatting, everybody's chit-chatting. This is joy. This is food equals joy, because this is what I'm experiencing, what I'm hearing whenever we sit at the table. The five senses is promoted when the baby is doing baby led weaning. So those are just the benefits of baby led weaning. So let's talk now about how baby led weaning is different from traditional weaning, right? One of the big difference is that one has to do with the mush, mushing food into smooth purees. And the other one gives variety of taste and texture and shapes and colors. It's just, it just feels different because it is different. <laughs> All right, that's the big difference between baby led winning and traditional winning. One involves variety of food and served at the same time. And the other is like one kind of food only. Like in a baby led winning table, I could see like a protein, a carbohydrate, a vitamin, and a mineral being served together. And you can visibly see the, all those components on the table. Because remember, in baby led weaning, we are serving the food in as natural a state as possible. But in a traditionally weaned baby's table, you might see a big mush of maybe protein, carbohydrate, vitamin, and mineral strung together and pureed together. You can't tell the, which one is what. You can't see the difference because they're all mushed together. So the child is not seeing the difference either. It's just eating mush and that's all they know. Anyway, a second difference is that a lot of people who start traditional weaning starts very, very early, like three to four months. And Starting so early is not good, and I'll tell you why. With baby led winning babies, it is recommended that you start when your child is six months old. Sometimes some parents wait until their child is like seven or eight months old even. So but from six months and up is when most people start baby led winning. That's when your child is usually ready. Talking about being ready, it calls, does your child show all the signs of readiness to start solids? And how do you know? A child who is not ready to start solid will not have lost their tongue trust reflex. Most people who do traditional weaning with a baby, that baby hasn't lost the tongue trust reflex. And what exactly is a tongue trust reflex? Look at my mouth and I will show you. Isn't it, have you ever observed a baby who just pushes their tongue out over and over? They're pushing their saliva out and they're drooling. Whatever goes into their mouth get pushed out. That is the baby's natural defense mechanism to, that protects them from choking. So it's your body's way of pushing everything out so that they don't choke including their saliva. So a baby who's pushing food out is not ready to swallow food, is not ready to use the tongue to move food around in their head, in, other, in their mouth, in order for them to chew and swallow. They have not lost their tongue trust reflex. The tongue is very important in the manipulation of food in the mouth and in bringing it into your, into your throat and swallowing it. So, most babies will lose their tongue trust reflex around six months old. If you observe a six month old baby and they are not pushing food out anymore and the tongue is going in and they're swallowing their saliva, they are ready to start solids. Um, another sign that you can look, and I'll make a whole separate video about this. Another sign that you can observe in a child who's ready to start solid is they're actually interested in the food that other people are eating. Hold a baby who's like six months and up on your lap while you're eating. They're going to be looking at the food as it goes from the plate to your mouth. 
plate to the mouth they will look and follow the food they will try to grab it they'll try to put it in their mouth they're like interested and ready they show interest you can see from observing them that they are interested in the food in front of them or the food that other people are eating a child who is not ready to start solids who has not lost their tongue trust reflex will usually not show any interest in food so trying to shove food in their mouth as they are spitting it back out is basically force feeding which is not healthy it does not promote choice and independence it does not promote a family bond so those are just the two differences or the three differences between baby leg weaning and traditional weaning before this video gets too long i will stop and i will talk in another video a little bit more about how to know when your child is ready for baby led winning if you want to know more about me if you want recipes to start baby led winning with if you want to start printables and other tips and tricks and a million resources go check out my blog at baby led winning for busy moms of calm but i spell it as blw for busy moms with an s blw for busy moms.com that's my website has tons of resources this video is also for people who want toddler recipes as well so it's like it takes you from baby stage to toddler stage and big kid stage so everything is it's like a one-stop shop anyway i'm gonna link some of the put some of the links in the description so if you want to check out my blog the link will be in the description anyway if you have comments or questions or anything like that leave it below and i will respond to each and every one of it i am really excited to start this series on baby bed winning and uh, i look forward to seeing you in the next video